dieth. All y'all that's taking up for those people that's doing wrong, that's you. He that eat of, uh, eat of other eggs dieth, and that that which is crushed breaketh into a viper. That means some things is going to end up happening to you. Verse six: Their webs shall their webs shall not become garments, neither shall they cover themselves with their works. You see that? A lot of people going to be falling off. Their webs, and believe me, this is being read for a reason, y'all, whether y'all believe it or not. Their webs shall, shall not become garments, neither shall they cover themselves with their works. Their works are works of iniquity. Their works are works of sin. And the act of, and the act of violence is in their hands. Sound like guns to me. And the act of violence are in their hands, and meaning many things that you're doing, not just the gun, just the things that you're doing that's calling, causing these things to happen. Verse 7, their feet run to evil. You see that? Their feet run to evil, and they make haste to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity. Sin. Sin is just another word for iniquity, whether y'all understand that or not. Wasting and destruction are in their path. Ignorance, if y'all yeah, know something, you don't mean no sin, it means ignorance. Both, all right? Just be clear. Wasting and destruction are in their path. Verse 8, the way of peace they know not, and there is no judgment in their goings. They have made them crooked paths. Whosoever goeth therein shall not know peace. Y'all hear that, don't you? If y'all don't start straightening these paths out, y'all keep supporting this negative stuff. Y'all keep doing that. Y'all gonna see yourself in the world of trouble. The world, I told y'all, we're in a dead separation. The sheep and the goats. I've been saying that ever since the coronavirus, which is the day of judgment, now we're in a day of separation. I keep trying to give y'all the understanding. When the 400 years was up, 1619 to 2019, August 2019, the 400 years was up. And if you want to know what I'm talking about, go to Genesis chapter 15, verse 12 through 14. This is where we at. I'm going to say it one more time so you can check it out for yourself. Since I'm right here in the middle of this, I'm not going to go there to read it. If you want to know what I'm talking about, Genesis 15, verse 12 through 14. And it talks about the 400 years that we're going to be in bondage, which was from 1619 to 2019, August of 2019, that is. And that's the reason why COVID-19, which was at the end of the year that my wife almost caught everyone for my, my uh, elixir that I made for. The end of 2000, I mean, uh, 2019 was when COVID started. And from that point was the judgment. If you read it, it says, and he says, um, they shall be in bondage. Then I will judge that nation. He going to judge that nation at that time. He ain't say nothing about taking them in the wilderness. He ain't say nothing about doing it. He said he going to judge that nation right after the 400 years. Then he going to judge that nation, that nation with the nation of Rome, the Roman Empire over the whole earth. The Roman Empire was, was judged by the coronavirus through the knowledge of the Father, through the pestilence you will find in Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 12 through 23. That's the other half of what I just read. The pestilence. The pestilence. That's the coronavirus. And in the corona, after the coronavirus, which is the judgment, is the separation, which we are at right now. It don't say the separation, but the separation is a part of the judgment. Then it said they should come out with great substance. The just the just the just the blah, blah, blah. the the substance is going to be for the just. Everybody else, and, and it's going to happen as we grow. I'm just giving you an understanding right now as we go. So let me get start back at eight, just to let you know. So if you want to know a, a more understanding. Genesis chapter 15, verse 12.